Before we jump into this video, I want to remind you that the College Hoops 2K recruiting tool is powered by Google as Google Sheets and Google Forms. So no matter what console you're playing on, you can begin recruiting college prospects today, all right? So you can go down to the description, click on the link to this setup tutorial right here, and you can get everything set up as long as you have a Google account, all right? If you're still not even sure what is the College Hoops 2K recruiting tool? What is this guy talking about? Check out this video right here. That link is also down in the description. All right, guys, keep rocking with me. I appreciate it. Let's get it. Hey, what's going on this morning, guys? It's me, The Goods, aka TG So Good, on so many platforms. All right, let's jump into this one. Today, we are going through the final Google form for the College Hoops recruiter tools. And this is the main form that you will be using. So today, let's take a look at it. If you guys have any issues with the speed of the video or the speed that I'm you know, speaking at, you feel free to speed up the video or slow down the video. YouTube has settings for video speed that you guys should use uh, if you want to change how you're viewing the video. All right. So we're going to jump into this pink reddish background Google form today. This is the third one. Let's double click that. And right away, what you guys will see is I can edit some of the questions. Um, so you see, I clicked on that. So if your where it says select recruit, your section two does not look like mine. Or if you, if nothing on the screen looks like mine, you guys need to re-download this sheet re-download this sheet from the main link that I provide. Uh, check all that stuff down in the description. But once you get this sheet, then you'll be able to jump right back into this part of the video. All right, so let's continue for it. I had already used this form, so let me, I'm gonna show you guys how to delete responses on your forms. If you don't wanna see them, just click those three buttons, delete all responses. All right, so now back to what I was saying. Section two, if yours doesn't look like this with your recruits listed, as you can see, I have these two recruits, Deion Carlisle, Wilt Bryant. They are listed here where I won't have to type their name in. I'll go ahead and show you. Go to preview real quick. Next. See, it says choose recruit. I don't have to type their name in every time. So if you wanted to come up like that, let's go to that. Uh, make sure you come to section two. Uh, you click somewhere in here and make sure you have, instead of having short answer selected, make sure you have drop down selected. All right. And then once you get drop down, it'll let you like come in here and type names like I'll, I'll erase it. Show you guys. So like right now, I just have Dion Carlisle or but. You know, if I if I start it off, it won't have anything. All right. So anyway, let me go ahead and type those names again. Or can I can I press Control Z? Yep. Get my names back. There we go. So just type in the, the name of those guys, and then th these forms automatically save. So once you do something, you don't have to like try to go save it. it saves by itself. All right. So we're gonna go back up to that eye icon where it says Preview. And we're going to click it. It opens up a new tab. So I don't need this tab anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin recruiting our recruits. So if we look at our main sheet, I can decide which one of these two recruits I want to start pursuing. Well, I'm going to pursue both of them, but we're going to go into an active recruiting session. Let's go with Dion Carlisle. Uh... Then we've got, oh man, this is just too much. Well, there's a lot of options here. Uh, originally, I was going to make the options disappear as you chose one, but ultimately, I decided it was best if I didn't make anything disappear because people wouldn't know how to bring the options back to restart. So, so anyway, so we can go to like, let's see. Well, first and foremost, before we decide anything, we have Deion Carlisle here. 
We see he's a three star. See his high school rating is a 72. And if we were in game, then we would know what his college rating would be coming in. But uh, we know he's a forward. Let's go over to the dashboard. All right, so on today's, we can see, uh, we can actually see interest in both schools that the prospect is considering. So the interest in USC is going to be the red one. The interest in whatever school they prefer is going to be the black. So Deion Carlisle, you can see USC is only behind by a little bit. So let's see what we're going to do. Well, if we come up to the top, we need to see what Deion Carlisle is most interested in. And he's most interested in going pro, even though he's not even close to looking like a one and done. He's not even a five star. So we're going to let's take a look at what is his second most. He's second most motivated by playing time. So. What we're going to do is we're going to do a, let's do an email, click next, select a pitch. We're going to do playing time, click next. All right, what role will I play as a freshman? All right, well, hmm, he's not competing for a starting role. I can tell you that. Yeah. Well, maybe he can. Uh, I don't think he can, though. So we're going to say immediate reserve of six men. How much play time will he get? We can say heavy minutes on that. Uh, how many seniors do I have at his position? I think two. So I'm going to click next. All right, I'm done with that recruiting session. It's nothing spectacular, guys. This is just something to where you're not just like where you don't have to feel like you're picking players at random or you're – cheating the game when you're playing with a college roster. It's it just something to give you a little competition because you're competing against another school in the spreadsheet. So what I like to offer scholarship at this time, I'm going to say not at this time. All right. That could be, depending on the prospect, that could be certain advantages or disadvantages to uh, giving them a scholarship at certain points. Okay. So you saw Deion Carlisle's interest go up. And for some reason, this didn't change. I, I had actually, well, anyway, let's not focus on this. This will change on yours. So here, let me get rid of that. The interest for both schools go up. So whenever you do a recruiting session, the competing school is also going to do one. So let's look at sheet one. So sheet one, um, oh, here it is. Okay, so his interest in the competing school, which is LSU, is 41. His interest in USC is 39 because USC is my school. So it's just a race to see who can get to like 99 or 100 the fastest. So we can go back in and try recruiting again. So last time I did an email, this time go back to Deion Carlisle, click next. You know, I did an email. Now I'll do a call slash video call. Do next. I'm just going to do the exact same pitch, which is playing time. And yes, they have the same question. So I'm going to answer them the same way. He can, he'll be immediate reserve or six man, heavy minutes, two seniors. Next. Still not going to offer a scholarship just yet, not at this time. Let's see what his interest changes to. As you can see over here where my mouse is towards the top right corner, it's loading up the results. So now USC is ahead of LSU as far as recruiting. I'm now ahead. So now that I'm ahead, I... Uh, 
I'm probably going to offer him a scholarship. So I'm going to go to submit another response. And normally I wouldn't do this all back to back to back. I would play a few games, then do a recruiting session, play a few games, then do a recruiting session. But just for the sake of this video, I'm doing it all back to back. All right. So I'm just going to come all the way to the bottom. Just going to do a quick uh, set of offering him a scholarship through email or calling and offering him a scholarship. I'm going to do visit by head coach and offer a scholarship. Click next. And it says, would you like to offer a scholarship? Then I'm going to click yes. Click submit. Come back over here. I'm going to go to dashboard. I want to see. There you go. We did another jump. So let's see. All right. So we're making progress. So basically the goal is just keep recruiting the kids until um, we want to keep recruiting the kids until somebody to they recruit to either the competing school or your school. So I'm going to go back so far. I've just been recruiting him based on playing time, so let's just let's just do. Uh, we're not gonna do any visit. We'll do a call again, and then this time we'll talk about his pro potential. Click next. How do you feel about one and done players? I'm just tell him, you know, it's part of the game. Playing great gives you great opportunities. That's why I let him know. Has your school produced NBA draftees in the last two years? Now this stuff is up to you. You know, I say no. Now, depending on your answer, whether you say yes or no, it, it'll branch off to different questions, but I'm going to say no. And then we've got are there any undrafted players from your school in the NBA, G League, or Euro League currently? We'll say yes. We'll say U.S., you know, Jackson Ellis's had guys go over and, um, overseas and play all right would you like to offer scholarship it's gonna say already offered click submit mm, let's wait to see what the interest jumps to on this all right Ooh, jump to 78 so let's let's look at actually yeah let's go to recruit central and so now you can see the thoughts of the player it says you are on my list. So basically he's saying like USC is on his list. And what Brian's thoughts are none. He doesn't have any thoughts about USC yet. We haven't done a recruiting session with him. So let's go ahead and do one with the other prospect or recruit. Well, Brian, he has less interest in us. So we really need to focus in on what he's interested in or what motivates him. Let's see. Whew. Because the other school has a big lead over us. So he's most interested in playing time and academics. All right. So let's see what school he wants to go to. Ohio State. All right. So has 44% interest in Ohio State. Only 30% interest in USC. So let's do a recruiting session with him. We've already selected his name. Click next. Uh, we'll say do a call slash video call. He he likes the academics thing. Was it? Yeah, he he's interested in academics. Where does academic? Oh, where does education take priority over sports? Or does education take priority over sports? Uh, I'm just gonna say we try to find a balance. Does your team ever get graduate transfers? We're going to say, we're just going to say, yes, they do. It's not a focus of ours, but we'll just say, yes, we do. Do you agree that it is in my best interest to focus on taking summer courses to get ahead? I'll just pick three. Click next. Actually, you know what? Let's go back. He's very interested in school. So if he wants to get ahead, if he wants to be here, you know, till he's a senior and get ahead, I click strongly agree. All right, would I like to offer scholarship right now? Uh, well, since he's a better player, let's just say yes right away. 
actually, no, not at this time. Click submit. So we're going to go over, see what his interest changes to. Right now, he's only interested. Okay, change to 42. All right, we covered some ground, and I didn't have to offer a scholarship. Ah, shoot, no. It, it, at first, we had covered some ground. It was 44 to 42, and then his interest in Ohio State jumped up to 57. So whatever recruiting Ohio State is doing, it's working out a little better than what we're doing. So I'm going to submit another response. Actually, before I submit a response, let's see his thoughts. <laughs> Look at this. So this is his thoughts on us recruiting him so far. He's like, what school is this? So basically, he's kind of dissing us right now because he doesn't have he doesn't even have 50 percent interest in our school right now. So he's saying, what school is this? All right. So go to dashboard. And you can see, okay, here we go. Now you can see, here's my contacted chart. 80% of the recruiting that I've done is for Dion Carlisle. 20% is for Wilt Bryant. All right. So since I've almost got Dion Carlisle recruited, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and try to recruit him one more time. We'll do a we'll do a visit to watch a game. Click next. Um, I don't. Well, uh, man, I don't want to recruit on pro potential because he's not that good. But that's his interest, so let's just do it. I'm just gonna say this. We already said no last time to Will Bryant. Let's just say yes for the sake of the video. We produced draftees in the last two years, so we click next. Now you see it has a different question. Has your school produced multiple draft picks within the last five years? And uh, we'll just say yes. Would you like to offer scholarship? I already did. So, already offered. Submit. Come back over here. Let's see. Let's wait for the sheet to load uh, this recruiting session. And look, we almost got them. Let's see. Ah, now his. Okay, so he wants to go to LSU. Well, he initially wanted to go to LSU. Right now, we're beating out LSU. All right, ninety-five to ninety-two. So, what we'll do is. Um, We'll stop the video here. We'll do another video where we see if he re, if if my uh, recruit decides to go to LSU or USC. All right, guys. Till next time, I'm out.